Hi, I am Rachel with Rachel and & Company, and I am here to tell you five things that you can do to feel more organized today. I know that you are busy, and I know that it's common to get overwhelmed by everything that is going on in life, but as a professional organizer, it's my mission to help you make your life that much easier and simpler. So let's get started. All these are five easy, quick things that you can do today if you wanted to. So the first one is to scan your clothing. So take a look at all your clothing. That means in your closet, in your dressers, in any nook and cranny that you have under the bed for out of season uh, storage. And what we're looking for are five items that you can dispose of. So that means anything that you can donate, anything that you can consign, or maybe even give to a friend. And as always, that would probably include anything that's damaged that can be thrown away. So take a look at what you own, any items that are ill-fitting, uncomfortable, that you haven't picked up for the last year or so, or just are no longer your size or your style. Those should all be in the get rid of pile. And I don't know if you have five, but I'm betting you have five and actually even more. If you don't love it, let it go and start that pile. So five items, really quickly, go find one. Second one is prepare for the next month. So take a look at what's coming up on your schedule because chances are you have things that you need to prepare for. So that might be, for example, attending a birthday party and you need to buy a gift or hosting a dinner party and you need to prepare the menu and actually go grocery shopping. Whenever you have something going on, you need to add that task for your event to your to-do list and schedule time in your calendar to actually get it done. So for example, if you need to get a suit dry cleaned for your big presentation next month at work, schedule a time to get it dry cleaned and picked up. The third thing is clear the mental clutter. So if you're anything like me, my mind is always bouncing back and forth from work tasks to tasks for myself to tasks for my family, and it can be overwhelming at times without actually writing anything down. I actually need to visually see what's going on. So my suggestion is take all of the tasks and all of the to-dos that are in your mind and write them down. Get them out of your head. Put them on a piece of paper. Put them in a notebook where you can actually prioritize what's going on and what you need to do right away. Figure out then how you're going to complete the rest of the list on your tasks. It's as simple as it sounds and it's really going to help you feel more organized with everything that you need to do. Four is clean up and tidy those common areas. So dedicate a bit of time each night to focus on those common areas of your home. Clean up your desk, take out the trash, start the dishwasher, put away items that have been left out throughout the day. Spend only 10 minutes starting to reset everything for your home so that the next morning you can feel that much more organized. Number five, make a list of all priority to-dos for the next day. As a business owner and mom, I've accepted that my to-dos will never fully be complete and I'm sure you can relate. So each night I suggest writing down three tasks that you really need to accomplish the next day. So no matter what comes up, these three tasks need to be handled before the rest of your to-dos. The task should be realistic, so if you have a larger task that needs to get done in the near future, make it a goal to tackle and just put down three individual smaller tasks to help. Overall, this is going to make you feel that that overall task is that much less daunting. So write those three goals down to help you make yourself feel that much more prepared and less stressed about the next day. Good luck on all these five. Can't wait to hear how it goes.